Yo gamers, what's up? This is Pinchol1984 with today a special happy video because I turned 32 today. That's right, my first ever birthday on YouTube. So what better way to celebrate than two flawless games on Black Ops 3. In the first one, I get a nice score on Nuketown, but I am forced to quit the match right before the end and you will see why. And after that, another walk in the park on Redwood because that is what Black Ops 3 is. It's a walk in the park. COD 4 is a lot more difficult and pretty much takes away your lethal equipment advantage until you get the claymores. They will be fun, trust me. But I am having a great time uploading all my gameplays to YouTube. So before thanking my active subscribers with this video, I must give a special thank you to YouTube itself for just being around. It's free, it's easy, and if you do your own promotion, you can get active subscribers uh, without, you know, spending money on Tube Assist or all that shit. Uh, they just have to like your content. But I have seen a lot of good channels doing the shoutout specials, and I thank all of you guys very much for even finding the time to watch my videos because all of you are also youtubers spending time on creating your own videos and my advice is do something you're good at and explain to people how you do it this channel is full of easy tips for everyone every youtuber and every call of duty player we all love our games whether it's fallout 4 pokemon go god 4 or gta 5 we all love playing our games and we are happy to know that other people like the same content that you like and feel comfortable with doing a series on it. So once again, uh, a huge thank you for all the support I get on this channel so far and all the views that my videos will get in the future. I am one of the people that has changed in a positive way by doing YouTube as a hobby. It made me more uh, you know, efficient as a Call of Duty player but it also helped me out in real life to become more aware of consequences of things you might say. We do not always see the impact of what we say to each other and that is something people could work on. So again, a lot of my gratitude goes out to you guys. At first, there was a lot of hate by doing the road to 15kd, but just because I was doing the road to 15kd and showing live coverage of it and doing the God 4 series Beast of the Wild, people actually really understand how my tactics guarantee you personal results, better personal results. I never cared for win-loss and score per minute. I spent hours on COD Ghost looking for enemies, no results. Everyone knows how Call of Duty works, so I try to fix spawn points with my position and hope it works. It works fine on Safeguard, many beasts have been slain on that mode. And another series I did once was called Boosters exposed. There once was a guy named Real Chris Stars who was playing the lead character in one of those videos and I didn't even notice it because I'm focused on not dying here but his minions start trapping me in because the boosting dipship is in here again. I exposed this guy half a year ago for the booster that he was and here he is again. Now after killing him a third time, I notice his name and I call boosters, so I leave the game on 17 and 0 because two teammates are pinning me in and giving away my position, assholes. So let's do a second gameplay on Redwood then. And what's even worse, they actually gave these boosters their very own game mode on Infinite Warfare called Frontline. But because I am 32 and only started playing PlayStation shooters at the age of 25, I consider myself as one of the aboriginals of Call of Duty. Because I used to play these situations with my friends in real life. We actually played outside and had our own private wars with plastic guns. Kids don't do that anymore. They don't play outside as much as they should. But it's good for you. Play COD 4 for 30 minutes and do something else. Play Black Ops 3 for an hour and go have a snack. Infinite Warfare, it will be the same as Advanced Warfare. It's gonna give me headaches and migraines. So I'm gonna do a series on it called Is It Campable? Where I test out all the different maps 
And after that, it's time for all the DLC maps. Because I have a smashing time analyzing these maps and giving you guys pointers. I love helping out, even though I play very personally on Call of Duty. Cod is stats, man. Cod is KD ratio. It will never be separated from KD ratio. I am very happy we could do this and kick LEA's ass. He uploaded a video shortly after showing people how he was dashboarding. He knows all about the 15 KD. He got informed by me when I was on a 6KD and I sent a picture of it to his Facebook page. He knows all about it, the douchebag. See you on the next one guys, thanks for the support.